Hello, it's Super Tata Gaming here, and welcome back to some more Game of Thrones. And well, we left off, we were about to do some training at the wall. And here we go. Actually, this time I might actually say something to the two people arguing. At the current moment, I was just like, yeah, I don't really want to say anything, but yeah, I might just tell them to hey, shut, shut your trap. As I know what oh, happened. Fuckhead! You might be new here, but you're in my spot. Yes, I know you. So move. Or find another spot. Wrong fucking answer. Most of you will be dead within the year. <sighs> Frostfinger in his bloody speech. If you want to survive in the night's watch, listen close. You know why I got sent to the wall? The wall was erected over 8,000 no. years ago. And I don't care. The you should. White At this girl I used to fuck now and again. Face like a queen, tits like a whore. Turned out she was married to some lordly. He tried to stick me with this. I stuck it in him instead. So next time I say move, you'd best fucking move. Shut up for once, will you? What's your problem? I'm sick of Finn bragging about all the girls he's fucked. And what diacrime are you here for? Fucking potatoes. Potatoes? I got caught stealing a bag of them. You both need to stop talking. Nobody cares, thief. Don't call me that. My name's Cutter. Cutter the potato thief. There's one for the songs. Oi. My sister was hungry. Oh, I've got something for your sister. Will you stop arguing? Who in seven hells is talking back there? Tuttle, who was it? Sorry, sir. It was my fault. Covering for your new brothers already, are you? Garrett Tuttle here wants to be a ranger. So we can go north of the wall and die on some wildling spear. But what he wants doesn't mean shit. So today you're all gonna show me what you're made of. Can you swing a sword? Shoot a bow? Are you strong? Those who do well might just survive. The rest of you. Frostfinger. And I need a word. Uh, John Snow. I need a Go on, get started. Best of luck, Tuttle. He still is an asshole anyway, anyway, I told you. Yeah. Told the guy he was my friend. Here we go. <laughs> Again. Close up. See those dummies? Those are fens. Come to eat your brains for breakfast. No. You're doing that all wrong. But we don't have these where I. Man's Raider will shit himself when he sees you coming. <laughs> Let me show you. All right, let's see if you can aim worth a wildling's arse. Shoot the targets I tell you to. Let's start easy. Middle dummy, center of the chest. Middle dummy, center of the chest. You can follow orders at least. Next bolt. Left target, head. Left one, head. Good. Right target, chest. Right one, chest. Not bad. 
Center. Between the eyes. Between the eyes. Out there. One less wildling. You hit all of them. Nicely done. You completed the crossbow test. Impressed or not impressed? That's the question. Finn thinks he's so bloody clever. If a real wildling got his hands on him, he's just a bully. Aye, he is. That's why I took this. Swiped it right off him. Don't tell, all right? I don't think he'd take it kindly. I won't tell anyone. I knew I could trust you. Practice sword. Cheers. That's embarrassing to watch. This one should do. I'll be sparring with you today. Remember, these blades are dulled, but a sword's still a sword. Good luck. Get off me, you bloody ox! You got lucky. See if you can carry one of these barrels over to the winch. What's in it? It's pitch. Dump it off the wall and it'll burn the wildlings down to their fucking bones. Right. I can do this. Some help. <laughs> Where am I carrying it to? Mr. John. I'll probably go over to that. I'll be faster. Don't hurt yourself, Tuttle. Not quite. I'm thinking stew for you. You can help Frostfinger wash his cock. If the thing hasn't frozen off. I'll be a ranger. Just you watch. Not holding my breath. Brother. You're pathetic. Fuck off. You didn't even try. A crossbow is a coward's weapon. Besides, I could hit that dummy from here with my. Where is it? Where the fuck's my knife? If someone has it, I'll cut their fucking. 
fucking balls off. How the fuck should I know? You were the last one I showed it to. Well, you and... It was you. What? You little fucking thief. It weren't me. Finn, don't. <gasps> Give me my knife. I don't have it, I swear. Out of my way. Gadid, do something. Stop it. Before someone... <laughs> I won't say it. <laughs> Fuck! Punch in. Hey, look. Fight! Fight! Yeah, get it! Here they go again. Didn't and Garrett defended him. The last thief I caught no longer has hands. I swear I don't have it. He must have hid it. <laughs> and you, I expected better, Tuttle. Instead, I find you doing this on your first bloody day of training, sir. Not I... another word. You clearly need a few days scrubbing the latrines, Frostfinger. I need another man atop the wall. Fine. Let him freeze his balls off. I'll deal with this one. Get off! Mind your fucking manners. Damn. You, come with me. So he did, I wonder if he dropped the knife somewhere to hide it, but you know, just hid it in his sleeves. This way. Oh, we're back with this I love woman, King's Landing in the afternoon. The sun just barely kisses your skin. You used to love this place. Remember, we'd come listen to the musicians in the evening with Lady Marjorie. I have a lot on my mind lately. Just through here. What are you doing? You'll see. Queen Cersei's finest wine. You're going to get us both in trouble. Relax. Nobody will miss it, I assure you. A little won't hurt. <sighs> Suit yourself then. I'm trying to stay on the good so, side of people I, uh... in, with this person. Trying anyway, I don't know. Hundred percent, what to do? Well, I just—I'm not very good at this sort of thing. Listen, if I tell you this, Mira, you must promise to keep it to yourself. You can tell no one. I want to trust you, but. I need you to promise. I swear, I won't tell a soul. My mother was a handmaiden to Lady Elena for many years. She became pregnant. It was a disgrace to her family. My true name is Sarah Flowers. You're a bastard? Yes. I'm fortunate to be where I am, I know that, but to always have to hide. Was your mother from a noble house? She must have been, to serve Lady Elena. Yes, though it's not well known. Distant cousins of the Tyrells, I'm told. 
They wanted nothing to do with me after my mother died. I'm... I'm so sorry, Sarah. It's just... I don't want to be Sarah Flowers forever. I need Lady Marjorie to arrange a marriage for me. It's my chance at a life. A family of my own. Did you have someone in mind? Someone you'd wish to marry? I'd have to convince Lady Marjorie to make an introduction first. I know she often confides in you, and I was hoping that maybe... Sometime when she comes to you wanting to talk, you might... suggest she talk to me instead. Give me a chance to win her over. Coming from you, it's sure to mean a lot. I can't make that promise, Sarah. You could if you wanted. It's not that difficult. You'll just have to find another way, Sarah. I would, but... <sighs> Maybe you're right. I know your family's troubles are much greater than mine. With what happened to your brother and your father. You sure you won't have any? You look like you could use a drink. Hmm. A conspiracy of handmaidens. Lord Tyrion. My lord. Ladies? What have we here? If you mean to drink from that flagon, you're going about it the wrong way. Care to join us, Lord Tyrion? Hmm. Not the finest arbor red, but a favorite of my sister's. Quite expensive for a handmaiden. I'd be curious to know how you got hold of it. Since I'm certain my sister didn't give it to you, she won't even share with me. Though that's hardly surprising. We... we found it in that bush. Lord Tyrion. Strange it should find its way into a bush. If Cersei knew you had this wine, she'd drown you in it. You must know what risks are worth taking, especially if you wish to have an alliance with me. Things have changed. My father has recently taken an interest in Ironwood. Most of the Royal Navy went up in green flames. It must be rebuilt. He insisted I handle things myself. I'm on my way to meet representatives of Lord Whitehill. Lord Whitehill? He's hired a pair of merchant lords to broker for his house. It would seem Lord Whitehill wishes to sell the Ironwood right out from beneath your family. I don't know much about the man. You can't let that happen. Why do you think I brought it up? Come with me. These men think I have no choice but to deal with them. Imagine their surprise when I bring a forester to the table. It might be the first fun I've had in months. My lady. So I don't get a choice of going with him a lot. Just go. And she carries on drinking. Like an alcoholic. We've been waiting here for an hour. Andros, be courteous. Courtesy in a merchant. Like finding gold in your chamber pot. Apologies, my lady. Who is this? Some girl you've brought for entertainment? She's a lady, Lord Andros. My name is Mira Forrester. Mira Forrester? Why are you here? A fair question. We were told we would be speaking to Lord Tyrion alone. That's a private matter, my lord. Foresters have nothing to offer, my lord. If you want Ironwood, you'll have to deal with the White Hills. Andros? I'm sorry, Lady Mira, but we've already spoken to Lord You Tyrion. spoke, I listened. Lady Mira has since persuaded me to consider her offer first. Now, if you'll excuse us... You're going to dismiss You can't us? do this! I assure you, I can. This is a mistake, my lord. 
I don't think so. Lord Whitehill will hear of this. He's not a man to take such matters lightly. Nor am I. That's enough, Andros. There's no need to make threats. You have no idea. Lord Tyrion. Lord Tyrion, do let me know when you've come to a decision. I'd like the opportunity to change your mind. Lady Mira. Good day, gentlemen. Ah, well, that was fun. Now, as for your offer, what did you have in mind? My lord? The Crown's Ironwood. I assume you have a proposition? You had a reason for coming here. I know it wasn't just to entertain me. Help me stop the White Hills. Well, the quickest way to strangle your enemy is with his own purse strings. Say the Crown agrees to buy Ironwood solely from you. Lord Whitehill will be left in the cold. If he wishes to sell to the Crown, he'll have to do so through your family. You will have him at your mercy. Or you'll bring your houses to open war. You do know that's a possibility, don't you? Then that's a risk I'll have to take. I'll consider the arrangement. Of course, you'd have to do something for me in return. Don't worry. The terms will be fair. What is it you want? You'll know soon enough. We have an understanding, then. Thank you, my lord. This will either be very good for both of us, or very bad for you. For your sake, I hope it's the former. I think I know what he wants. My lady. I think he might be in the bedroom department. Don't you? I can pause it here, hopefully. Well, in a bit where I can actually do stuff and stuff that I will do in the next episode. So I'd like to say thank you for watching. You can leave a like, favorite, and subscribe. If you do subscribe, you click that little bell icon. You will get notified when I upload a video. You can also like and follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Links are below. Also, you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram, and Google Plus. And that's really about it. So I've been super little gamer. This being Game of Thrones. And finally, goodbye.